hi guys uh, so in this video or rather in this series we're gonna create a portfolio personal portfolio for cryptocurrencies where you can manage and track prices of all the cryptocurrencies that you own so this series is gonna be of multiple videos i'm not gonna cover in uh, the whole thing in one video as that will be a pretty long video and so i'll try to make uh, this in multiple videos so that you can watch it you know in bit, uh, pieces and not the whole thing in one video so that's it uh with the intro so let's get started so as far as for this video i'm just uh, gonna create a you know a simple project and just fetch the data from my api the api we'll be using is uh from coin gecko uh pretty popular website out there to you know manage and track prices uh, of uh, all probably all the cryptocurrencies out there so that's what we'll be using so in this video we just simply create a project and uh, just fetch the data and just simply show that uh, data in the template so let's get started with that mm. let's create a brand new project what i should mean start project i'm gonna name it crypto track you can obviously name it whatever you want uh, so here is crypto track track sorry and django dash uh, first let move into this directory django dash admin start app portfolio here is the app let's get started with basic configurations that we need import os let's register our app and also let's do the configurations for template rendering start path dot join base dir templates and let's create folder for templates also Okay, now create a common file base.html okay we'll come to this later now uh, let's create also index.html that's what we uh, will be needing later index.html and that's it i think uh let's just simply run our app and see if everything is working run server okay so it runs actually that's yeah it's working so now let's get started with our views so we will be needing a request library so request to make an api call so and also no that's it if let's name our function index uh let's call this index only request now we the api let me get the api that i was talking about mm. 
I have it. Uh, post the link in the description so don't worry about that uh, yeah so this is the API that I was talking about so API equals this so it's from CoinGecko uh, by market caps uh, order is according to the market cap you can see here order is a market cap and decreasing order so at very top the crypto currency will be having highest market cap and then in the decreasing order so first hundred that's what I will be uh, fetching first hundred cryptocurrencies according to the ma uh, market cap so that's it let's make the request actually so raw data equals request dot get uh, API dot JSON and let's render it return render request and it's index index dot HTML let's pass the context I'm gonna name it datas and data is raw data so that's it for the views so base uh, let me get the basic boilerplate code for base.html I already have it you can by the way you can get all this code from github repo it's already hosted there so I have bootstrap because bootstrap tables is, is what I'll be using so that's why I've already is the link for the bootstrap and you know jquery will be using later not now also font awesome we don't really need font awesome i uh, will see it later but let's just be here let's just paste the link here for now mm, okay so that's it with the index.html sorry base.html now let's extend base here and uh, space it also I think I've given full uh, yes title let's give the title track keep, track crypto and what uh, so I'll not be you know doing any styling or all that I'll be using just basic bootstrap classes for now or for the whole series actually I'm not focused on styling and all that you can obviously do that however you want we'll just keep it simple and use bootstrap classes that's it so let's just give the heading Mm, I mean uh, basic heading like give the class was Jumbotron Jumbotron is a bootstrap class actually and let's skip the heading 3 uh, and give the heading track your crypto and now let's create um, container container is also another bootstrap class uh, table uh, now the, all the class I'm writing right now is all our bootstrap classes and how do I remember this no I don't I see them from the official bootstrap documentation that's how you can see it you don't have to memorize all this you can obviously obviously go out there and check in the official documentation of the bootstrap table dark i'll be 
using dark table obviously you can use primary or any other color bootstrap that bootstrap has defined so let's create table then th not th sorry t head then uh, we're gonna create row and then we're gonna create th actually first thing that we need on th is let's give scope a code to every logo is what we need let's just copy it and paste it several times so that we don't have to write it again and then name of the currency rank market and price so that's it now we need t body so as you remember we are sending datas context or uh, key from our views so i'm writing if datas that if we get data and what if there is no data so if that is the case that there is no data we'll simply you know print nothing to show here or you can type something oh something went wrong and all that message let's end the if now inside here we're gonna loop through our data for data in data uh let's create another tr and inside tr gonna create first row td uh td obviously will be image uh, because an image is data dot ing mm, it's not image now before that let me first show you what are the keys in the api so let's grab this and let's go and let's paste this i don't know whether you can see or not but let me let's zoom it out zoom it in actually and you can see yes that inside uh, json data we have id that is bitcoin symbol btc name bitcoin and image this is the link so that's what we are accessing uh, as data dot image and for name we will be using data dot name for symbol data dot symbol for current price data dot current price so this is how we are getting things so i just wanted to show you that that how i'm accessing image and all so here it's also give height uh, 70 pixels and let's give all those alternative name okay. coin logo also another td uh, let's give it class uh, this is another bootstrap class line middle and uh, this time we are getting data name because that's what the heading is data dot name then let's just paste it out uh, now data dot name now rank so we need market cap rank that is this one here right uh, market cap this market cap rank also we need market cap so let's copy this and paste it here market cap now the price is actually the current price so td class align 
middle data dot current price now it's only the price i think and we are accessing the price in usd as you can see currency is usd here and if you see current price it's only price and not mention that it is usd so what let's just give it here space usd so i think that's it it should work out now so let's just go and check hope everything works okay so it's not working so let's check this index.html oh but, uh, simple mistake not mistake actually we forgot to write url pattern for this so, from uh, portfolio dot views import index uh, index common name and let's give name also index now I think it should work hopefully uh let's refresh this oh silly mistake again uh and for here <clears throat> and for so let's check this so you can see uh all the data of hundred i think let's go yes hundred cryptocurrencies we get these data so that's it for this video what will we uh, what we will do in next video is you know update this these prices now in real time what do i mean by this is that uh to to see the updated price we have to refresh the page for now so in next video we will create a uh, a salary task and with the help of django channels we would uh, we will update the price in real time we will uh, schedule a salary task so that api call will be made again after each uh, 10 seconds or 20 seconds depending upon the situation and as the call is made by, uh, with the help of django channel we will send those data in the real time and we will update them here now also in next video we will create a simple login and sign up so that user can create account and manage his uh, portfolio i'm saying in this uh, now i'm saying again and again in the next video but probably not whole thing in the next video uh, uh, as i already told that this uh, whole project will be in multiple series or multiple videos actually so we will simply create a login and sign up so that user can create portfolios and manage their prices uh, see their uh, or track their price track the price of their cryptocurrencies in the re uh, real time actually so that's it thank you for watching this and please subscribe to the channel and press the bell notification so that you can get the notification for the next video of this series and don't miss out any video uh, so that's it. Thank you and stay safe.